Hello everyone, my name's Big Tun, and welcome to my gaming channel. This is the first video in a not sure how long series, but I'm going to try to play this game to completion. This is Dead Cells. It's a new early access game that you can find on Steam for about 17 bucks. And uh, it's kind of like Castlevania. Uh, Symphony of the Night, if you've played that game. It's a side-scroller platformer. But to start out, we are going to just do a new run. So, death in this game is kind of permanent, but not really. So the premise is that you are some sort of blob creature that just fell out of that tube that seems to take over the body of some kind of corpse, I guess? But the little cells that you are, I guess, they can't die. So you basically just lose control of your body and have to start all over again. Lost our head now, did we? It's like, I don't think I had a head to start with. Well, nothing to say for yourself is because I don't have a head. Don't have a mouth to talk. Oh, well, yes, I see the problem, yeah. I suppose you didn't think to find yourself back here. But surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I still don't understand. Was like this for the others. He's like, seriously, what others? <laughs> There's nobody else here. Okay, so you can start with a beginner bow, or you can start with a shield. I don't particularly like the beginner bow. It takes too long to shoot. Ah! See. So I should have put the shield up, but instead I decided to just block it with my face. Ooh, found a little secret. Some 250 gold. So we got ourselves our first two blueprints. These are uh, part of the permanent progression that you can do. Is once you collect these, there's they're collected all the way up until you die. Unless you make it to the little collector guy to like hand them over. So if you die before you make it to him, you lose them. Got ourselves another gem. Let that blow up, go down here and kill him. Okay, so that's a teleporter don't have another teleporter that links to it, so I can't use it. Let's head this way, so we can go down there. Let's go ahead and scout out. Okay, there's another teleporter that links me to that other one, so now we can teleport around without having to run back. So there's a lot of backtracking in this game. But luckily you have those teleporters that let you kind of skip content so you don't have to actually run all the way back. So from here let's investigate down here. Take that guy out. Another rune. What's that? Ooh, a health upgrade. So this is part of the permanent upgrade as well. Well, permanently for the duration of your run until you die. So the red guys shoot stuff and the green guys are the melee ones. They do a lunge and then this like overhead s strike that they do that's a little bit difficult to block because there's like a pause that they do right before they strike you. You eventually get a rune that lets you rub these that teleports you to other sarcophagus. So we're going to teleport ourselves back up. 
Ooh, there's a scroll of power over here. So we'll drop down here and grab that. So this one lets you pick what you want to upgrade. So we already got a health. Let's do some strength. So we can do more damage. Can't tickle this yet. Need a rune for that. The runes are permanent. They get added to your save file. So once you get a rune, you got a rune. Yeah, see there's that little delay. Shield him, shield him. So yeah, this shield that I have, if you if I block with it successfully, it stuns the enemy. It's a little tricky to get the thing to land on him though. There's another shield up here. Oh, we can't get it though. We have to go here and push this button. Grab the shield. This one can knock out their teeth. It's a way to get extra gold. So let's go up here. So there's another portal. This will let us get back down there. Ooh. I like the twin daggers here. Those guys are randomly spread throughout because these dungeons are procedurally generated, so they're they're never the same between two different games or two different runs. I mean, so there's the toxic sewers to get there. Did we miss any? So there's a flashbang that was. That was stuck with somewhere I can't go yet. Alright, so the only thing left is to go there and go to the promenade. So this will unlock our first uh, the first encounter with the collector who will oops, I should have went up one. Who will let you do your permanent upgrade stuff. So we get to unlock our healing potion, because you actually don't start with one. Let's go to the promenade. So here's the collector. You again. Interesting. I am the collector, and I'm about the closest thing to company you will get down here. In exchange for the cells you pillage from your foes, I can provide you with a few useful items. If you uncover any blueprints, I may be able to provide you with some more experimental items. And this is the system they got for the permanent upgrade, so you spend your cells like a currency. So we'll get our first healing potion. Second healing potion requires 60 total. It basically lets you use your flask twice. This one here just lets you retain some of your gold, which is nice. And so we can start out with a starter, a different starter bow. Eh, I don't really do that one. I usually put the points between getting the second flash charge and my favorite weapon so far, which is the twin daggers. Everything you buy here is yours forever. Not even death can take it from you. Simply put, if you want more power, bring me more cells. Out of my sight, your presence grows tiring. So he wants me to bring him stuff, but yet doesn't want to see me. You're a confusing guy. Let's charge up the health potion. It also heals you to full. So we'll go to the next area. I think I can make that jump. 
He automatically grabs the ledge. We got ourselves an assassin's dagger. Holy smokes, 900 points of damage to that guy. Oh, oh, look at the damage he did to me. He took me to, he like knocked off half my health. I must have some sort of a take more damage. Damage dealt 2x, damage received 2x. That's what's going on. So I need to be very careful with getting hit. Oh, as I land right on the spikes. Are you serious? Oh, I did it again. Ooh, so maybe those twin daggers weren't that good. Ouch. Yeah, the promenade's filled with these little spike trap jump things. Got ourselves a... Uh, we're gonna go with strength, because I don't feel like we're gonna live very long. So they... These are time doors. Usually on the other side's like treasure, so extra gold. There might be some item upgrades. Still can't tickle that. Gotta fight the boss. It's on this level. Oh. The animation has to play out before you can do anything on some of the attacks. Knocked out a tooth. Knocked out another tooth. Up to four strength. That's pretty good, especially with these daggers. Too bad I can't get hit. We're about to get the tickle. You get a rune that lets you tickle that and it'll grow into a vine. And that's in here. If I get hit, I'll probably die. Oh! Uh, yeah. So, that happened. Yep. So, that's the first death of this run. But you see the little bag there? That's from the uh, retaining some of my gold. Back already? Well, it doesn't seem to be going all that well for you. Uh, no. I pretty much got destroyed. He's like, it ain't no thing. Yeah, this is, he's trying to explain the procedural he generated stuff. One could think the island is alive. I wonder if... What do you make of all this? Well, I don't have a mouth, so I can't really tell you. 200 gold? I'll take it. Try to block a little more frequently. Oh, jumped into his arrow. Goodness. Yeah, you can get overwhelmed pretty easily in this game. Like, even if there isn't a lot of enemies, because you get, like... There's a animation that plays out when you get hit, and there's not much you can do while it's happening. I think you might be able to roll unless you get hit consecutively and then you kind of get stun locked almost. Get those guys blocked up, stomp that guy out. No 
Ooh, a health upgrade. That's nice. shield. I gotta make it back to the the guy that wants the cells in order to actually get it. Right now I'm just holding on to the blueprint. Nothing here. Can't afford anything. Another upgrade. Uh, throw it into hell, or, uh, strength. There's my promenade already. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Good old carrot. That part's very much like how uh, Castlevania was. You know, you'd kill the zombie or whatever, and he would drop like an entire cooked turkey. Alright, let's see here. Let's go check this way. I usually explore every... Like every entrance to the next area, I try to discover it on the map before I move on. Got more tickling to do. So let's see what's in this. Ooh, my twin daggers. Enemies hit explode upon death freeze effect for one and a 1.2 seconds. So that one's pretty good. Oh, gotta rub that one to teleport. And let's use the teleporter. So there's the toxic sewers. So that means we need to go back to the promenade. Let's jump down here. Promenade. And we will leave. Alrighty, let's spend our cells and cash in our blueprints. So I got 17 cells. Let's go ahead and get the first tier of that. And, uh,. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get the blood sword unlocked. And I guess we'll spend the rest into the uh, next healing potion. Uh. This causes bleeding. Uh, I like the twin daggers for now. Charge our flask and get healed up. Go into the promenade. I think uh, if I die again, I think I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. So you can't can't eat it if you got full health. Saves me from wasting it. So I was checking to see if the uh, little target dummy thing was over there that gives them invulnerability. I was trying to get a jump on it. That swing around. What do we got? We got a chest. What's inside our chest? Ah. Yeah, damage dealt times two, damage received times two. Eh, I don't really like the whip that much to use that. Follow you around. 
Let's see where. Can, oh no. Oh, see that little shield they have on. Oh, come on. The turn to block the stupid bird and then was short on it and ended up 20% uh, damage while inflicting a critical hit. Yes, that one's pretty good. It had like one hit point left and was able to land a hit on me. How sad. Ah, oh, put the shield up way too early on that one. Alright, let's see. I don't think there's anywhere to go there. Ah, uh, might be able to. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that hurt. Uh, I don't want to dual wield frost bombs. I want something else. Let's see what. Maybe get get not killed by the elite guy this time round. That's a tricky jump. It's hard to attack while you're jumping, like an air attack. So sometimes you can't hit the door, but you can open it in mid-jump. Ah, oh, all bad. All of that's bad. Haha, oh, double Got hit by the bomb and the bird. Little butthead. Give me my strength. Ooh, another scroll. Uh, let's do health. Push that health bar up. Fifty percent off. Uh, not so much. I don't really like the bear trap. It only works on one enemy. Holds him in place, but doesn't do anything to the other like six enemies that are around you. All right, uh, one hit and I've got to use a potion. Oh, oh crap. Potion. Come on. Ouch. So there is a little bit of a cooldown on the roll. Yep, there it is. Permanently gives you the ability to grow climbable vines. So yeah, that roll you can't do non-stop, so if you time it wrong, you'll roll early or whatever, and then you end up directly in front of the guy, and you can't roll away because it's on cooldown. Another elite? What do we got going on over here? Oh, goodness. What kind of elite is that? Grenader? Yeah, the grenaders aren't too bad. Till I start getting. Oh, till I start taking all the bombs to the face.
So I switched their positions to make it easier to throw that one. Oh, oh dang it. I tried to roll, but I was in the middle of swinging. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. If you like what you're seeing, click the like button. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.